Hello everybody, welcome back, another AI video, and this one, I'm in Eureka, and this is a fantastic new AI music generator. It is as good, maybe even better than Suno and Udio, which I have reviewed on this channel previously. This creates amazing music, AI music, but here's the thing, it also has a store. So for those of you that want to monetize your creations, it has a built-in store that you can go ahead and create content, put it up for sale. You can buy other people's content if you want to support other artists. You see something you like. Crazy things going on here. Let's get into this. Let me show you how cool this is. All right, the next step is a simple one. Head over to Murica.ai. When you do that, you'll see a screen that looks just like this. And it's kind of cool because they let you look around without having to log in. So here we go. If we just click on a few of the things, you can see the store, the library, the credits, etc. I'm going to get into the details. So if you want to go further, which you should, go ahead, click up here at the top right. You'll see that little icon. And I'm just going to go ahead and continue with Google. I'm going to log in with one of my accounts. And now we're going to be in the back end and I'm going to show you how this works. All right. So we're logged in here and you can automatically see that I have created some music already. I've got a song called Roll Call. And I've got a version 1, a 1.1, one, one, a version 1.2, and a version 2. And also, you'll see we have regenerating, so we can redo a song if we kind of like it, but we want to redo a snippet of it, and we can also extend a snippet or extend a song if you want to create it longer. We'll get into that later, but let's take a quick look here at the UI. The left side, you'll see create. We can create with a style, and we can also create with a melody. The melody I have never seen before and it really sets Murica apart. We'll get into that very quickly here. The store, this is unique as far as I can tell. You can not only create your own AI music, you can sell it. So for those of you that have, you know, some ideas and you want to sell some music or you've got some, you know, you got something cooking and you want to put it up on the auction here, go ahead and do that. It is fantastic. You can also buy other people's music. You'll see here they've got a checkout. So if I like this song here, for example, and I've already got some that I've favorited here. You can see I favorite it with the heart. And I can just go ahead and check these out. And we'll talk about that in a sec as well. And then very quickly here, a library. These are all the songs that I've liked. And then if you have songs for sale, you can put them up into there. Finally, and this is an important point, you'll see here that you can purchase credits. I've got 102 remaining. However, if we zoom in, you'll see here that you can get six credits for free every day so depending on your registration time. So keep this in mind. While this is technically not a free program, it kind of is too because they give you six songs a day or six credits a day that you can go ahead and work with. So with that out of the way, now let's dig into the details. All right, here we are. We're logged in and let's start. The first thing I want to show you is the library. And the reason is simple. There's no point creating music if it's not good. So let's go to the library and the store here. And I'm going to show you just how good this is. I've got a few songs that I've liked. Listen to this one here. I'm just doing the best I can do. That sounds like it should be on the radio. That is amazing. That is at least as good as Udio and Suno, in my opinion. Let's listen to a couple more here. Pop Dance Indie. Energetic, Mysterious, Angry. All right, see, that's just super good. I mean, it's a beat, obviously, but it's damn good. Let's go to, uh, let's go to Sweet Venom. I like the name of this one. Some days are so good, they almost feel wrong. Maroon 5, you're about to be out of a job. <laughs> Guys, these are fantastic songs. Of course, all of this is created with Murica and AI. Also, you will see up here songs for sale. I have not put any songs up for sale yet. But you can, and I will show you that process. So, there we go. We know that this is very good. If we go to the store, you can, of course, go through all the different music here. I mean, look, it's all by genres. It's by mood. So, if you have a particular uh, style you're looking for, you can go ahead and do that. I believe these are, uh, what are these? How are these ranked? I guess they're ranked by, right now, they're just sort of ranked by uh, popularity. I'd have to check into that. But, I mean, these are so good. I like this one here. This one here is Count Me Out. And if you really like something, you can like it put a heart on it so you just click the heart button or if you really really super like it or you just want to support the creator and that makes perfect sense you can buy licenses non-exclusive licenses and exclusive licenses depending on what you're looking for so and I could just go ahead and say let's get that one here and let's zoom in a bit here the song is non-exclusively licensed to you others can buy commercial rights too okay so basically you can use the song but you don't own it necessarily 
And if you like it, proceed to check out its fantastic and there you go you can go ahead and buy it so we're not going to do that right now but i did want you to know that that is there so in the store go ahead zip through it here see what you like dream you don't understand beautiful city okay yeah let's check this one out slow riser and if you want to skip ahead and of course you can go through them step by step so there you go. There's a library. There is a store you can buy, you can sell. Amazing. Let's start creating now. All right. Now let's get into the creation part, the part we all sort of came for. Okay. So you'll see here when I'm up here and clicked on create, we get some options. First off, you can enter the song title and you can enter lyrics here. If you have your own song or your own title, just enter it in here. It's a piece of cake. If you don't, you'll look down here, you'll see we've got three more options. We can do a song structure option. If I click on this, you'll see here we can do an intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, break, bridge, etc., outro. So if you want to break it into parts, we can go ahead and do it that way. You'll also see here that you can write a line of the lyrics. So if you want to write this line by line, you can click on this button here. If you want to write the whole lyrics, and this is the one that I use because I'm not much of a songwriter, if I'm being honest with you. You can just click on that. So let's click on it and see what happens. All right, welcome back. So we got a song called When We Were Dumb. And in my case, that's pretty much all the time. <laughs> wow, I didn't expect that to happen. But uh, okay, we got a fun we got a fun song here. And there you go. You can see here it's broken into verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, outro. Very, very cool. And if we liked what we got there... We can just go ahead and click on create. If we don't like it, if we want to change the name when we were smart, hey, I'll just go ahead and change the name here. You're not locked into anything, which is fantastic. Also, uh, I was naked, fell out of bed, you went away and left me face down on the floor. Holy smokes, this is about me, what I used to drink. <laughs> this is fantastic. All right, I love this. This is a great song. This is actually uh, yeah, pretty relevant to my lifestyle, at least the way I used to live. But hey, whatever. Okay, so we got something awesome. Let's click on create and let's make our first song. All right, welcome back. So here we go. We got two versions of it here. We got one we were smart version one and one we were smart version two. Let's listen to a little snippet of each to see how good it is. All right. All right. Got a little bit of rock, indie pop, angry, quirky, happy are some of the uh, words to describe it. I like it, not gonna lie. Let's listen to the second version here. I was naked. All right, totally different. That is indie, Indian, classical, calm, inspired, warm. Okay, so you get some adjectives to describe it. So this is what it can do with almost no input. We literally just went and said, hey, make a song. We gave it no guidance. Let's start giving it guidance so we can start creating some even fancier, more, you know, appealing stuff. Let's get into that. All right, the next thing I want to show you is this style functionality. This is my favorite part, just being blunt here. I think this is unique. I've never seen something like this before. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. When I click on style, I click on that plus button. Check this out here. It says you can paste a YouTube link or drag audio titles here. Why? Because you can use that as reference audio to control style. Now, this is not copying someone's music. This is not stealing. This is just looking at other sources to give, you know, ideas. In a lot of ways, it's not even imitation. It's more like inspiration. If you think about what the word uh, Eureka means it's inspiration, that light bulb going on moment like Archimedes had all those years ago. Well, Eureka is all about inspiration, and that's what this is. So I'm going to go ahead and take a YouTube example. So here we go. I'm going to go to YouTube, and this here is just a YouTube Udio AI generated AI generated song. I like it. Let's listen to like a few seconds of it so you can see what it sounds like. Okay, so it's kind of got that cool little rocky beat. Um, you know, pretty cool stuff. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to click on share because I really want to show you how this works. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy that URL. Now I'm going to go back to Eureka. I'm going to paste the link right here. When I do that, you're going to see here I get a check mark. 
it's going to go ahead and load up that link and it's going to autoplay. So I'm going to click on that. Watch this. All right. So we know it has selected that song here and you can see it here in the waveform. And now I'm going to click on done. And before I do that, actually, before I even click on done, you'll see here that for the reference, we want to make a few selections part of it. You don't want to click on done. It's already uploaded. So here we go. Song title. I'm going to call this Rockin' with Kingston. That's my dog's name, so that's what I'm going with. I'm a pretty simple guy. I'm going to go with a rock style and maybe a little bit of... Uh, what else did I hear in that song there that I kind of liked? I kind of like... I wouldn't say folk. I'd say a little bit of rock. Oh, let's go with rock. Yeah, or indie. Yeah, let's go with rock. And then in terms of mood, I'm going to go with... That was a pretty chill song, so I'm going to go with relaxed. Something like that. These are just adjectives. They're not critical. The... Reference audio is the most important point, but let's go ahead and click on done. And then we're going to get some cooking here. So it's going to go ahead. It's going to create something for us. I'm going to come back when it's done and show you what we got. All right. So it has opened up a style pop-up and you'll see here that I've actually got two songs that I've used or two snippets here. So it's asking me which one to select, which makes sense because, uh, you know what, this was the last one. So I'm going to click on use. Now watch what we got here. All right, so it's gone ahead, and now up here you'll see that the style is active. So that means it is ready to be used for the next uh, stage in the generation. So let's go ahead and just quickly do that. Rocking with Kingston is the name of the song. And then I'm not going to enter any, in li any lyrics of my own. I'm just going to go ahead and let it do write the whole lyrics. So I'm just going to click on that, and it will go ahead and create some lyrics for me. And then from there, that's the final ingredient in the pie. Let's bake it. All right, welcome back. So it's gone ahead and done everything for us, including using the reference uh, song that we chose here. So on the left side here, you'll see Rocking with Kingston. Here's the name of the song. The verse is here. Come on, everybody. Let's rock with Kingston. Put your hands in the air. Something, something, something. Looks like a good rock song to me because, hey, I'm not much of a lyric writer, but it sounds good. So here we go. There's the lyrics. The style, obviously, it's active. And now let's take a listen at it. And actually, before I do that, let's zoom in a little bit here. You'll see that it's a minute and 57 uh, seconds long. It's a pop rock, inspired, calm, angry. Those are some of the adjectives used to exp uh, describe it. Now let's listen to it. All right. All right. I'm liking it. Yeah, that's fantastic. What the heck? Super good. All right, it felt like uh, like I had a Weezer moment at the beginning there. All right, so that's just an example. This is version one, as you can see here. We have a second version. I'll listen to just a shorter snippet of this one. Notice that this one is two minutes and 37 seconds long, so a little bit longer. And in a short second, we're going to look at extending and regenerating. But here we go. Let's listen to the second one. All right, it's pretty good. I'm liking it. Pop indie is the style. Okay, a little different. Okay, all right, totally different style. It's pop indie versus pop rock. And you'll see here, this is warm, cop, ha warm calm, and happy, where this is inspired, calm, and angry. All right, calm and angry. I like, though, you don't see that together too much, but very cool. So there you go. Those are just two examples. Now, if I wanted to say that I like the first one a little more, I think. So I'm going to click the like button on that one. If I want to copy the song link and keep a copy of that, there you go. Click on that. And then here's the three little dots. And yeah, look at that. Apply to sell. We're going to get right into that in a second here. But before we sell it, let's go ahead and look at regenerate. Regenerate means basically do the thing over again. And extend means, I love what we got here. The first minute and 57 is great, but we want to make it a full song. So let's look at that first. We're going to click on extend, and then look at this. We can extend here at the end. That's what I want. I want it to be extended at the end. So I could just go, I could enter in some lyrics here, or let's go ahead and just say, write a line of the lyric. Let's just go ahead and click on that. So I'm basically asking it to write another piece and it's going to come at the end there because it's not quite long enough. So I like the first two minutes. And then we can literally just go ahead and click on extend. I, I, you know, I recommend you guys experiment with this. Try this out. You can still have access to song structure to write a line of the lyric. Or you can write a whole set of lyrics again. So if I clicked on extend, it's going to go ahead and make this longer. Let's click on it. And it's going to go and 
cook up again. I'll come back when it's done, show you what we got, and then we're gonna look at how we can start selling these and making a few bucks. All right, so we've gone ahead and clicked on extend, and let's take a look here. So what you'll notice here is it says rocking with Kingston version 1.1, and rocking with Kingston version 1.2. So it's extended both of them. And by having this 1.1 and 1.2 uh, naming structure, it's easy to keep track of what we're doing here. So for this one, for example, you'll see it's rocking with Kingston. And this one is 2 minutes and 40 seconds. So we're right in the area where this is a full song. And if you're thinking about selling a song, for example, you know, 3 minutes is kind of in around the area where, you know, 3 minutes plus. So there we go. We got version 1.1 and version 1.2. Now, I kind of like the one point, uh, the version 1 more than the version 2. So let's go ahead and click on this one here. Let's listen to it a little bit. Takes a second to start. There we go. Now, if I hit stop, you'll also notice down here at the bottom that I can go ahead and move forward here. So if I hit play here, that's one thing. But look at that here. You'll see this little green dot. That's basically where the extension occurred from. So if I move forward to here, we're going to only be listening to the extension area. So let's see what that sounds like. All right, so there we go. We've gone ahead and they basically added in about, I guess, 40 or 50, 50 more sec, 40 seconds more on this one and something similar on the second one. So there is another example. If I want to extend this again, I can click on extend again. All right, there you go. That's what it kind of sounds like. So there you go. This is the extension option. It is fantastic. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at something else here. All right, the next thing I'm gonna just cover real quickly here is regenerate. If I click on this here, it's gonna load up the song. But look at this here, you'll see here it says, select a part of the area to keep the lyrics and regenerate. So if I wanted to say regenerate the end of the song, okay, fine, if I want to regenerate oops, a section, like let's say, I don't know, this part in here, I can pull this here and regenerate pieces. And you'll see here that, there we go. You'll see here that it says it's from one minute and 39 seconds. So this is a movable slider. So you can kind of go ahead and select parts of the song. Like let's say you loved the whole song, but maybe there was one chorus or one verse that you didn't like. You can go ahead and select that and regenerate. Super, super cool. Also, while I got you here, check this out here on the right side here. When you click the three dots for the ellipses, a few cool options. You can edit the song title, standard stuff. You can restore it. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm assuming that you can go ahead and just add the song back in. You can download Wave and Stem. This is important for those of you that are good with DAWs or DAWs as you call them, and you know how to create and modify beats and things like that. And you can go ahead and download that. It does cost a few credits, but hey, if you want it, go ahead and do it. You can download your ownership certificate. You can download the MP3 to use as you'd like, and you can apply to sell. That's what we're going to do next. Let's click on that. Let me show you this section. All right, last but definitely not least, especially for a lot of us out there that would mind making a few extra bucks from our work, let's click on apply to sell. Check this out here. Look at that here. It says apply to add rocking with kinks into the store for a sale price of $4.90. Sense that's USD, or you can add a non exclusive license, pardon me, or an exclusive license for $29.90 or $29.90 USD. Very cool. The whole terms of service is here. I recommend you go ahead and click on that. And then let's just take a look here pop rock. So these are just you know to uh, categorize them, these are the moods here. Very simple stuff nickname, contact name. You got to add that in. I would add in my name, my email, my address, and then I would click on apply to sell. Then, once that is done, you'll see here there is a store, just like when we started off. Your music, your AI-generated music, will go into the store, and if somebody clicks that checkout button, you get paid. Pretty wild stuff. I expect this is a this is going to be probably uh, changing over time, as you know, this is relatively new functionality, and I think nobody else does this besides Murika. So, again, please look at the terms of service. I'm not an expert in this area nor am I a copyright or a music lawyer of any type. So please look at it, but hey, if you want to make a few extra bucks and sell your music, this has it built in, ready to go. So that is Eureka. That is a whirlwind tour of it, guys. It is pretty wild if you ask me. If I've used Suno, I've used Udio. I think this is on par, possibly better, and the fact that you can do all of these other things, including make money, makes it a no-brainer for me. All right, so click the link in the bio to sign up and get some free credits to give it a try.
Let me know what you think of this video in the comments below. Thanks for watching.